we are going to be starting now with we're going to ease into a couple of them. We're going to do the slump test. And the reason for the slump test is generally it, it helps to locate a spinal area that might be a problem. Now, this can be done as a self test. It's simply holding the hands behind the back, slumping, and then raising the head. And oftentimes they will feel something. If they don't, and oftentimes they don't because this is best when it's assisted. But what they can do in this position in order to know where they might want to treat is they can release all of this and slowly just one vertebrae at a time try to go down and as they do that they're going to find a place where they go down like five or six vertebrae i mean a, a bunch of them that's an area where this can be really helpful so here's the slump and they can practice this this is nice but i like to as they're doing the slump i like to have them kind of hump the back back into where they feel that region so that they kind of individually floss just that spot. Now from here, we want to turn, go back. And again, in this position, if we want to floss the lower extremities, I can straighten this leg and point the toe. And so we're going to do that. I'm going to point the toe as I look up. And doing this is a peroneal nerve floss. So this is something that is taught oftentimes, and it's very good, it's very effective except oftentimes people are too tall or their bed is uh, not is so low that it's hard to get this movement. But this is not a bad thing. Now to turn it into a tibial nerve floss to be able to get the back of it and the bottom of the back of the calf, bottom of the foot, they can do the same thing except this time pull the toes towards the nose. So again, a real easy thing to do. And that should keep your patients busy.